September is City Harvest Hunger Action Month, and we have partnered with them to bring awareness and get folks engaged. And no one is more engaged in feeding the community than our next guest. During the pandemic, she used her restaurant resources to send food to hospitals and the police stations. She's also a longtime supporter of City Harvest. So please welcome back chef and restaurateur Donatella Arpaia. Good morning. Good to Hi. see you. Hi. Good morning. Good, Good morning. We were just saying in the commercial break uh, that you're my Virgo sister. You got a birthday coming up next week. Yes. And uh, so I want to say happy early birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. You know, the last time that we Zoomed with you, you actually schooled us on how to make meatballs. But today you're giving us a little sweeter twist to it, right? What are you making today? I am. I am. So I am making coconut cake. And I, as I was saying, every year for my birthday, I have coconut cake and coconut is one of those things you either love or you hate but if you love it i do you love it and my mission this year was to make it a little healthier and and it ties in perfectly with city harvest and hunger action month because you know we're feeding the food insecure of our community mm -hmm. and also we're trying to teach them to eat healthier because so many of the kids in lower income households are nutritionally starved and yet right. obese. so sugar is the enemy my kids have a sweet tooth but you know if i sneak in some whole wheat flour and other goodies oh i see difference. what you're doing here okay so show us the little yes. healthy trick that you're doing with the coconut cake okay so for the frosting i'm using mascarpone cheese it's like the italian cream cheese and uh coconut sugar instead of real sugar coconut okay. sugar is natural and it affects the body so much better and i love it because it's an equal substitute. Mm -hmm. I'm also using applesauce unsweetened for moisture instead of all that butter. And I'm using coconut oil. So, and um, look how much flour I'm using. I'm using that's a it? third of a cup of almond flour and a third of a cup of whole wheat flour. So that's wow. all that's going in here. Yeah. Oh, that's so let's fantastic. let's do this really quick. Okay. I know. And, and you haven't, um, you know, flour. I guess lost any taste because of all the wow. healthy ingredients Have that I are lost going to any taste. I have to tell you, I've gone through, I must have made like five coconut cakes this week. Okay. And I have my family, they're all like Simon Cowell's here. They weren't that good in the beginning. I've tried all different numerations, but they have no idea that this is healthy and whole wheat flour and almond flour. Okay. So well, I'm that's a good sign when they don't know they're, they're being tricked. <laughs> egg yolk, coconut sugar, so much better than uh, real sugar for you. And then we're just going to put in here, which I have whipped egg whites. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. And then we're going to fold it in. And then I actually, I cook this. I, I brought it over here because the kids love, I cook it in my air fryer, but you could cook it in your oven at 350 for about 18 minutes. It's super easy. You See, cook I'm just your cake in an air fryer? Oh my God, That's you didn't know that? No, yeah. I've never done a I cake in an air fryer. In my, oh, air fryer. Look, so here is... Um, yeah, it fits right you in just here. Right. Oh, think wow. Of, think of an air fryer like a tabletop convection oven, mm -hmm. a really powerful one, except there's So what, you can do it like in two minutes faster. in an air fryer instead of two hours in an oven? <laughs> Not two minutes, but you definitely save about 25 to 30% of the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the kids love it because I have toddlers, so they get, get involved. And, right. You know, they're not near a hot oven. Exactly. Because you know toddlers. Okay, so, while yeah. you're making that, I want to ask you, because businesses were hit yes. pretty hard during the pandemic, especially restaurants, but you still <sighs> generously donated food to first responders. Talk to us about how business is going. Are you fully reopened? Yeah, we are fully reopened. Um, you know, New York is a tale of many cities. If you're in the residential neighborhoods, you're faring much better, like the Upper East and the Lower. If you're Midtown, where I am, which is Times Square and Grand Central, mm -hmm. and my brother has a restaurant 54th, you're still harder hit because that's where people from the offices and travel, you know, it's right. a huge tourist business. So we're still harder hit, but we're still, you know, we're New Yorkers, we're tough, we're Absolutely. making it happen. Absolutely. And of course we have to give back and that's what City Harvest is all about. Um, you have to give back. I mean, and we're champions, City Harvest and the rest of tours of this because there's so much waste and mm -hmm. you know i always say to be in an industry where i benefited so much to not think i have to give back would be you know a disservice to me and my children and, and i'm very lucky and 
uh, we yep. we want to give back. To so. whom much is given, much is expected as well. And yes. so it's good to see that you're giving back. All right, let's get back to the cake. What do you put in that frosting? Yes. Okay. So for the frosting, instead of cream cheese, I use mascarpone because I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I use mascarpone cheese. I use heavy cream, or you can use coconut cream. And I also, again, use coconut sugar and a little bit of confectioner sugar. Okay. A little bit. So instead of like two cups, just a little bit in coconut. And that's why it has this kind of caramelly color right. from the coconut sugar. And I just whip it up and then I um, slather my cake and then I put unsweetened toasted coconut shreds on top. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, if you want a little bit of sugar at the end, mm -hmm. a little bit of extra sweetness, just a little snow. Okay. A little confectioner oh, that's sugar pretty. on top. Yes. Just, just pretty, 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 pretty. But yes, this is a recipe. I mean, if you look at the calories of coconut cakes and butter, it, it's it, and also it's always sugar shock. Mm -hmm. I don't like things that are too sweet. I'm I don't with think you. the sweeter the better. So I think this just is a lot of coconut flavor, really good healthy fats like coconut oil instead of butter, um, coconut sugar instead of right. Regular nice sugar. substitutes. Yes, applesauce for moisture, um, unsweetened coconut shreds in the batter as well. And I also have a little lime zest that's right. in here as well. So healthy little, without sacrificing kick. the taste. That is what yes. I like. All right, Donatella, yes. again, happy birthday. I'm glad you're continuing tradition birthday, with the coconut too. cake. I, I knew Enjoy. you were a Virgo. I exactly, Virgo. my Virgo see? sister, we're like this. Okay, enjoy yourself. So good to see gonna, you again. I'm gonna bite. All right. All right. And we're going to share sure. your recipe with viewers as well. Yum. And for more on how you can donate food, volunteer, or attend the fundraising concert to support City Harvest, just visit cityharvest.org slash hunger action month. Take care, Donatella. Bye-bye. Bye. What's the slice look like? I know. I was hoping that we would have one here. <laughs> but we have to make it ourselves. Yeah. I do like mascarpone. I mean, that is a nice mm -hmm. touch. That is a